Hey art friends, in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to draw a kid flying a kite. I hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. I'm using a marker to draw with, but remember you could use a pencil instead. You could get all the lines just the way that you want it, and then you could use the marker after and trace over the pencil lines. Let's first start by drawing our kid, and we're gonna draw him or her down here in the bottom left of our paper so that we have room for the kite flying high up in the air on this side. So let's first draw their mouth. We're gonna draw a little smile, and then we're gonna turn it into a big, happy smile, open smile. And we're gonna add teeth on the top and also a tongue. Let's color in the back of the mouth so the teeth and the tongue are white. Then we can add the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left and also on the right. While we're drawing the kid, remember you could also add extra details so that the kid looks more like you. So you could add long hair or curly hair. You could also add different eyes or mouth that makes it look more like you. We're gonna draw cartoon face. We're gonna color in this big circle, but I also drew this little circle inside and we're leaving that white so that the eyes look shiny. I love doing this to our eyes. Okay, now let's draw the face. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the letter U for the cheeks and also the chin. Then we can draw an ear, we'll draw a letter C and a backward C. And then we can draw the hair. I'm gonna draw, oh, let's just keep it simple. I'm gonna draw a big upside down U like this. And then we could also draw a curve coming up and back down. <laughs> now, I'm gonna draw mine as a boy, but you could change yours into a girl. You could add eyelashes or longer hair. You could even keep the hair short if you want. Okay, now let's draw the body. I'm gonna draw two lines coming down. And then we're gonna draw a line going across for the belt. Or this could also be the waist. I'm also drawing my lines a little diagonal to make my kid look like he's running so that the kite is coming out behind him or her. And then we're gonna draw the legs. We're gonna turn these lines into letter U's for the legs. So you could also draw one leg sticking out to make them look like they're running more. Then we can add shoes. Now let's draw the arms. I'm gonna draw one arm coming out to the side. This one's the one holding the string. And then I'm gonna draw the other one coming down like this and then back up. And then we could also add a line for the sleeves on our kit. There we go, that's it. That's all we're gonna add to our kid. You could add more details if you want, but I'm gonna leave it just like this. Okay, now let's draw our kite. I'm gonna draw way up here. Let's first draw a diagonal line like that. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line going the other way, but this is a lot shorter. These are the sticks in our kite. Okay, now let's connect the outside of our kite. I think I wanna make my kite bigger though. So I'm gonna extend the top and also the bottom and the sides. There we go. Now let's draw a curve connecting there. You can draw a curve coming down or a diagonal line. Also a diagonal line here. And I'm gonna add a little curve to it so that it looks like it's in the wind. Okay, now we need to add a funny face to our kite, right? It's always better with a funny face. I'm gonna draw the eyes. Here. And then I'm gonna add the highlight, color in the eye. And because I'm also drawing by myself, I don't have one of my kids in the studio, this lesson might go a lot faster than some of the other ones. So take your time, you can pause the video, don't worry or stress out. You can always pause the video for more time. Okay, now let's also add a little smile for a kite. There we go. Now let's add the string. I'm gonna draw it coming straight from this cross right here. And we're just gonna draw it coming straight down to our kid's hand. Yes. Oh, and then we also need the tail. We could draw a little bow at the end. So I'm drawing little sideways triangles. And then let's draw a really cool tail. We can draw an S curve because it's blowing in the wind. And let's just add more S curves. And these can do whatever you want. You can change these. I'm gonna go a little faster since I'm just repeating the same step. And maybe one more, let's see, right here. 
and then I'm gonna cut, have it come out like that. Oh, we need another one like that. We're gonna do it on this side too. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's add another detail to our kite. We can add the little sticks poking out on each side. Now you can add even more things to your drawing, like a background. You could draw the sky, maybe even a sun, some birds. Oh, we could also draw the ground. Let's draw it like this. We'll just draw part of the ground. I'm gonna draw it going behind our kid. And that's it. We're just gonna leave it like that. Oh, we could draw a little path. We'll draw our kid running on a path coming towards us. That looks cool, except we still need to color it. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and you can take that time to color your drawings. All right, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our kid flying his kite. I hope you take time to color your drawings also and even change your drawings to make your kid look more like you. You could change the skin tone, the style of the hair. Oh, maybe your kid is wearing a hat or even wearing a backpack. Oh, you could also even have your pet running next to you. Maybe you have a dog. That would be really cool too. You could also add the sun and the clouds trees and everything you want in the background. You could also change the colors of your kite. I chose red, yellow, and blue like the Art for Kids Hub logo or the primary colors. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing a kid flying a kite. Now remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine. I hope they do. The most important thing is to have fun and practice and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.